Hello and welcome to Race Gal. I'm Dan Sugano, aka FPV Skittles, and today we're going to be going over how to build and fly Race Gal track number one. So as you can see here, we have our PVC pipes and our Race Gal pack set of fittings. I have the heavier wall pipes in back. I've got eight of those and twelve of the thinner wall pipes in front. And uh, we have for the fittings, we've got four five ways, two four ways six T's and four elbows. So for this track, you're actually going to need all of those pieces in their specific part points to make the track. So let's start with that. So what I like to do is build the bases of the elements first. This track has three elements. So I'm going to start by building the base of those three. The legs in and out, that one in and this one out. And then you have the base of your three elements there. So after I have the base pieces set up, what I like to do is put the leg supports on. So that's my five scrap pieces. So then next, I'm going to put in the verticals. Next, let's put on some connectors. So start with T's. We're done with level one. Next, we go up to level two. And then finish off the triple stack gate. And then the four And then I build the And there we have the three elements of the track. So, the next point you need to do is make sure that they're spaced properly. So, what I'm going to do here is I actually have an extra element of the same length as all these ones. And I'm going to use it to space my triple stack gate and my middle element gate. Okay, so you're going to want this side of the, your triple gate in line with this gate and that's also in line with the side of your start gate here. And there you have it, you're set up. So you need six foot six from the triple gate stack to the start finish gate, and a minimum of 42 inches from the uh, triple gate stack to the center of this element here. And the last rule that you have to follow is for the triple gate stack, you must follow the uh, race out gate stacking rules. So that means that from center to center of the gates, or from center to center here, you have to have 30 inches plus or minus 3 inches, so 27 to 33 inch range there. And then from the ground surface to the center of the second gate in a stack, you must have at least 42 inches. So, let's check ours here. We are at 43 and change to the center of our middle gate, so we're above the 42 inch minimum. All right, so now that we have all the track elements built and spaced properly, let's go over the path that you need to fly while watching some DVR. Here is the path for Race Gal, track number one, created by AK. You're going to start from behind the start finish gate, looking at the rest of the track, and your time will begin through the start finish gate. And you're going to go through the bottom of the triple gate stack, and then ladder up to the middle, take a right turn, go around the pole and over the gate, put us down through the middle gate, and then back to the triple gate stack, through the bottom, under over into the middle, and then ladder up to the top of the triple gate stack, and then around to the right, around this pole, around the pole on the start finish gate, and then that's one left. So let's do it one more time. Do this. Under, over, ladder up, right turn around the pole, around the pole, and back to start. So you can do the ladders either direction, right or left. So you could go a ladder like this to the right, and then down. Then after the under over, you can go right here also. 
left or right ladders, whatever you prefer. I think I'm going to go left for the bottom one, and then I'm still trying to figure out what feels better in the middle. I think right might be a little bit quicker, but sometimes the pole gets in the way. I don't think right's better there. At least I don't feel like it. It might be better there. It's up to you. You can do it either direction. Whatever you want. It's your three fastest consecutive laps. Oh, you got three good ones, though. 